dawn of a fatal day, and the wind begins to speak with a roar that no man can fail to hear. In a 40-mile-an-hour gale, the center span weaves like a ribbon in a swinging twist that you wouldn't believe possible unless you could see it as you do now. There's an automobile caught on the heaving roadway. The 11,000-ton center span twists and strains the giant cables that support it. Cables of 6,300 wire strands, each 17 inches thick. Back out of the danger zone, all stricken spectators are driven to safety as the bridge gyrates like a nightmare high above the river, twisting, turning, curling. The lone motorist is forced to abandon the car. He has but a few minutes in which to save himself. Face to face with fate, his destiny hanging in the balance. Will he heed the last warning or perish with the doomed structure? But he saved himself by seconds. No structure of steel and concrete can stand such a strain. Steel girders buckle and giant cables snap like puny threads. There it goes! are divided as to the cause of the disaster. Some claim it was 